pieces when hunting up in North Texas. I'd actually spent several hours on another part of the property, hadn't seen any hogs. I was on my way home when I spied these hogs, and I hope to get a shot at them with my Lone Star Armory TX-15 multipurpose carbine enhanced, through which I'll be shooting Barnes TTSX 100 grain bullets loaded by Druid Hill Armory and the Starline Brass that my buddy Denny had provided for me. Now the hogs are in some winter wheat. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. And the weather is actually abysmal. It's kind of chilly, a lot of humidity, and there is fog, and I can actually feel the water droplets in the air. Now I want to shoot a sow first, and I think this hog is going to be a sow because she's got piglets with her. Then I hope to transition to these other two adults. I've got cattle off to the right, and I've got cattle off to the left. All right, here we go. Whoa! Holy moly. So the bull that had been off to the right moved into scene. And so I stopped shooting, pulled the rifle off target at that point, held off on shooting, and then watched the other hogs go away, and then the startled cattle also moved off. I hope maybe I'd get a shot at the uh, hogs in the distance, but they're through a fence and too far away in the fog. I just wasn't going to risk it. Couldn't find the hog that night. Came back later in the afternoon, found the hog. Covered in buzzard poop. Looked like it came in at about 100 to 120 pounds when it was alive. Well, no surprise, the shot went through and through, and I sent pictures to my buddy Denny. And he wrote me back and said he'd really like to see the bullets path through the hog. And I wrote back and said I wasn't cutting apart a hog that had been sitting in the sunshine all day long. However, I made an attempt to shoot a similar sized hog in the similar place on the following night. And so both of these hunts are going to be covered in Carpe Nalasus, the Trauma Diaries, number 18. Carpe sus, my friends.